Brazil, one month from launch of its football extravaganza, wants the world to see keen youngsters raring to go in Sao Paulo's Corinthians Stadium, which isn't finished yet. But instead, this is what's on the world news. Brazilian violence, regularly. Ordinary people are rebelling because hosting the World Cup has inflamed prices and the money spent on the event means money not spent on social considerations. Millions of tourists will start arriving soon. They'll see heavily armed security forces. But that site itself feeds the anger of many less affluent Brazilians. Opinion polling has shown that 52% of the population are happy that World Cup is coming. That is down from 79% last November, a 27% dive. UEFA President Michel Platini says the Brazilians really must be told that they're here to show what's best about their country, their passion for football. And if they can wait one month before their social explosions, it would be good for all of Brazil and for planet football. The riots started heating up a year ago as people saw things get more expensive and their purchasing power suffer. The announcement of what the thing was going to cost was ignition. 11 billion euros where the national average salary equals around 640 euros, and the lowest legally is around 240 per month. Estimates of the minimum for a family is 1,000 euros. Inflation, 3.6% a few years ago, heated up to 6.5% last year. As a high-end consumer index, take the iPhone, you'll pay nearly 900 euros for it in Brazil, not quite double the US price. 50% more for a car than in most other industrialized countries. Food products, rice, vegetables, chicken, are up 20 to almost 100%. Rents have more than doubled. This is the world's seventh largest economy, yet 6% of its people live in shanty towns. This parallel world of the poor, occupied against any regulations, houses nearly half the population in big cities, missing infrastructure, rife with drugs and crime. In the absence of adequate public services, notably for health, education and transport, in urban and rural Brazil, the spending on football feels to many like a social program to exclude them.